All right, I'm going to update this wall right here so it looks like a cavity wall um, using the wall type that you already have in there. So I'm going to select the wall itself, and I'm going to go to Edit Type here. And I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to click Rename, and I'm going to rename it, you know, Interior Hallway. All right. And I'll click OK. And then what I want to do is I want to edit the structure. So I'm going to go to Edit Structure. And right now we just have a two-foot wall. And we know that from measuring that that's a one-foot column and that's six inches and that's six inches. So basically we want air between the columns. And we have a substrate that is at the columns. And then we have, we're just going to put plaster right now on the outside just to give us some definition. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create some new layers by going to insert. I'm just going to insert four new layers. One, two, three, four. I'm going to move these up. One, two, outside the core boundary. And then I'm going to move these down outside the core boundary. Two down, two up. So this is the core. Here's the exterior, here's the interior. It doesn't really matter on this one because it's going to be symmetrical. Now what I want to do um, first thing I'm going to do, I'll just go ahead and change the structure to air, um, which is a little weird, but it will work. So basically what I did is I clicked on the right side of this by category, which is the material, and it brought up the material browser, and I'm going to type in air. And I'm just going to use air and click OK. And I'm going to change that structure to one foot, right? And then I'm going to come in here, and this is going to be a substrate. So I'm going to go substrate 2, and I'm going to change it to 5 inches. And I'm just going to leave it by category. And then this is going to be a finish 4, and I'm going to change this to plaster. Type in plaster. And there is plaster in the library down here. This is the library on the hard drive. This is the library, or this is the existing um, materials in the project. So you need to move this up to the project. If you don't have this pane, click on this little guy, and it'll show and hide your library. So plaster, click OK. And we want the plaster to be 1 inch. All right. And then I'm basically going to do the same thing up here. So substrate, 5 inches and finish four, and we're going to make that one inch, and we are going to change it to plaster. Click OK. And now I have the same width wall with a one foot air in it, and um, this is the structural material here, so make sure that that is checked if it's not, and then click OK, and click OK. And so now we have this guy wrapping along, right? And so it's updated all those interior walls of the same type, right, to be that wall type. Um, so you can use that to update with, and it'll wrap around corners. I, if you're having issues, like if we wanted it to wrap at the ends, um, if we go to edit type, you can come in and say wrapping at ends, exterior, and let's see if that'll work and go to apply right and now you can see that it's wrapping at exterior outside ends you can do that so that's up to you depending on how specific you want to get again down here at the bottom is a detail level so you need it to be on medium to be able to see the walls separations if you're on course it'll just show the overall thickness of the wall so medium is what you need to be on all right so there's the wall so I'm going to start